Oh yeah, they did change. Uh, I don't remember. I played Crisis Core after Remake. So I don't know who did Zack in the remake. But yeah, the voice is different. The powers, leave it to me. I'm not going to bother reading this. This is just a pickaxe. It's not going to add any character. Yo, I pried the door open like Aloy. Awesome. But yeah, I, I think they did change. I noticed the voices were different. I played Crisis Core like... When did I play Crisis Core? 2021? 2020? I don't remember. A year, maybe two years ago almost? Something like that. But yeah, uh, Zack was great. Also, class personalities, combination of Zack's and what first class closure should be like. Prefer the dorky cloud in the end of the game? Are you talking about cloud at the end of FF7 original? Is that what you're talking about? By dorky cloud? I'm assuming. I honestly just prefer remake cloud. <laughs> I don't think the I don't think FF7 cloud is bad, but now that remake cloud is a thing, I just prefer that cloud. Oh, you were talking about that one? Yeah, I like... I I liked Cloud when I played the original. But now I'm like... After playing the remake, now I like... I like love Cloud even more. So now that the remake gave us this like... Slightly enhanced Cloud, like fleshing on this character more. I, I'm like all down for remake Cloud now. But the original, Cloud in the original is also good. Like he, he's fine. I have no problems with him. I mean, he, he's a really iconic character. I, I've always liked Cloud. I've really always liked Cloud playing, um, playing Final Fantasy. I've, Cloud's always been such a, such an iconic, cool character in the FF universe. I just thought it was a good game. story was mixed, but connecting it, connecting it to, uh, the connections to FF7 were good, but Crisis Core's story was, like, fine. There were some things I didn't like about it. How am I still level 14? The XP I'm getting is, like, awful. I haven't even got a single level up in this playthrough. In this Leon side playthrough. I might be calling it playthrough because as I said, I'm gonna make this a separate playlist. I have a new thumbnail. I'm in a new thumbnail for Leon side specifically, so I'm just gonna make it there's gonna be playlists like director's cut, which has like I think I ended at part 152. And then this will be its own playthrough. Because they are basic we're basically replaying the game, essentially. Oh, I never saw I have been children. Apparently, Wolf insane. They turn him into an edgy character. Yeah, Cloud is not like edgy. He he starts off. You think of him as edgy in the beginning because of the way he acts, but it really is just, especially in the remake. It's mostly because of like, I I consider him more like in the in the remake, especially. He's more socially awkward. Then uh, he's never like supposed to be edgy like that. Yeah, I never I never seen that in children. Do I plan to? I don't know. Maybe I'll watch it one day just to say I did, but... I've never really said, like, hey, I want to watch Avin Children. We'll see. It's possible. Maybe just because I like FF7. I'll probably just watch it for the sake of being an FF7 fan. 
It's a good movie for action scenes alone. The story is hodgepodge. Hodgepodge? That's a word. Heaven Children Cloud sucks. Rio, welcome to stream. I I have no opinion of him, but Wolfen's been telling me he's not accurate to how Cloud should be. I haven't gotten a single level up with Leon. That is insane. Wait a minute. Was I 12 or- I don't remember if I started this as 12 or 14. I could just 14 is when I started this. What is going on here? I don't understand. Maybe I just- The XP I'm getting is probably just so trash. We're getting like, what, 60 XP? It's really bad. Girlfriend's playing through original FF7. Yo, nice. Nice, nice. I really, I haven't played the original since I did my playthrough on the channel, which, that was like the first game I streamed. That was like the first game I've ever streamed to Twitch. I really, I got the game on PS4, um, I have a PS5 though, but I got the PS4 version, I have to platinum that game. I want to platinum the original. Like on my own time, I'll probably just play it to get the platinum trophy on it. I haven't played the original since like, I played it. I streamed it right before the remake came out, which was 20, like early 2020, maybe late 2019. Good game, it's a classic. He's whiny as opposed to empathetic and tough. Does not sound like Cloud to me. The air pressure is sick. And all these kills. I don't know if they I don't know if Leon's side's supposed to be like extra difficult, by the way, but I feel like with like getting no gold and like the XP rate being really low, I'm like, I don't know. I mean I'm still having fun because we're getting more of Leon. Leon is awesome. But like as a story, like, gameplay perspective, I don't know. I don't really like the fact that, like, we're not getting any money. And the XP rate is really small. I sure hope the final boss is like, hey, levels don't really matter. You could beat it at any level. Because, you know. Oh my goodness. I just realized the final boss might be us fighting Stan and his group. Are they going to make us fight, like, all the Sordian team? That's going to be insane. It's like in Zillia 2. With a Zillia 2 bad ending, you get to fight everyone. I think there's a bad ending in Zillia 2. You have to like fight all the Zillia characters and Gaius and Yusei. That was insane. It was for a bad ending, but still, that's insane. I feel like they're going to do that with this. How else are they going to incorporate the final boss? This is the PS2 remake. Yes. Ah, there's a sword. That's Clemente. We, I finished Stan side already. I'm playing this again. They added a uh, second story for Leon here. So we're playing through Leon's side, which is a, it's pretty short compared to Stan's side, but we're playing through Leon's side because this is like the new content of the original, of the PS2. This was, Leon did not get a side in the original game. Like we had Stan side. Obviously the remake changed a little bit of things, but the core story was the same. But now we're getting things from Leon's perspective, which is sick. Chosen Heroes, you've done well to come this far. Although, 70% of it is copy-pasted, but, you know, it's it's fine. At least it's not super long. Chosen Heroes, you've done well to come this far. What's that? Who are you calling heroes? Are you really talking about me? No, they're talking about Leon. I'm the main character this time, Stan. Old Clemente here likes to play pranks on people. Pranks? Yeah, you never heard of pranks? Does the thing in the background look like Gnome to you? Oh my goodness, I know- Yes, it does! It's got like the little eyes. I could see it. It looks like Tales of Eternia Gnome. Tales of Eternia, Tales of, um... No, Symphonia and Eternia didn't have the same Gnome. 
It looks like, it kind of looks like Eternia's gnome to me. I could see it. Like with the eyes. I see the eyes right now. Man, that is freaky. Nah, Symphonia's gnome was like the super fat one. Eternia's was also fat, but it was like a different shape. Well, well, it's been quite a while. You're still as stubborn as ever, Dimlost. You never even wrote Clemente, but you seem to be doing well. He can't write! He's a sword! He's a sword! How could he write? He used to be human. He, he tries to write, he stabs the piece of paper or the envelope. Oh, man. Oh, at white, you're as sweet as ever. You become a sword, too. If you've grown through all the trouble to come to meet me here, then something must happen. More importantly, the eye of Atomony was stolen. So it was true, I had a bad feeling. This isn't the time for me to be sleeping peacefully. Will you come with us? If you're here with us, it'll be reassuring. I'll be counting on you to spoil me and whip these old bones into shape. I won't let you do anything weird to At White. Spoil you? <laughs> Stan's just confused, dude. Oh, I get it. Like polishing, refining. Because you're a gold. Because you're a sword. A plus. Give this man an A plus. He deserves it. He deserves it. A plus on your smithery report. Yeah. No, not quite. More like brimming with romance, perhaps. Dim Lost seems like your master is quite the pure hearted man. By the way, how are we gonna get Clemente a master? Oh, I, I don't know. How about the girl that lacks a weapon? There seems to be a girl among us who lacks a weapon. Why, why, why shouldn't she have the sword? We'll have to think about that later. No one here possesses the aptitude to wield the sword in. My master's already here. She's coming here. Philia. Yes, Philia, the girl you recruited. Everyone, how'd you manage to get here? I listened to the voice in my head. It guided me here. You heard a voice? Could that really be Clemente? Yeah, it really was. You're the one who called me. It was your will that wished for me. Your earnest desire and determination to become stronger. And that is why you heard my voice. I can give you that power. All that's left is your final decision. What do you choose, Philia Felis? Imagine she rejects him. I have to get the eye of Atomony back from the High Priest. No, Greybum. No matter what, that is my responsibility, my duty. I will fight together with you. Grant me your power, Clemente. It's it's like it's taking out the sword of mana. You did it, Philia. It's all because you cheated me on, Stan. Stan didn't do much, trust me. Leon. Leon, once again, I ask you to let me fight with you. What's with that? You still won't recognize Philia? Just don't be a nuisance. Yes, Leon, thank you so much. Philia, you're still a novice. That means you're weak. However, what you lack in skill, you make up for in your earnest feelings. I have great expectations for you. Please give me your guidance, Clemente, and everyone else, too. Same here, please make your acquaintance again. Good to have you along. Yep, yep. This ended up being a convenient affair. With this, we can have some peace of mind. At, the, at any rate, I, if I had to get a new master, I'm sure glad she's a sprightly young girl. Whoa, whoa, Clemente, PG-13! Clemente! Well, everyone, shall we return to the ship? Yeah, sounds good. Active party member. Yes, yeah, support talents. I remember how to play the game. Hasn't been that long. Let's return to Radis Girl's entrance. Philia, I have the power. Turns buff. <laughs> I'm picturing Philia buff. Oh my goodness. That is both funny, but cursed. Truly cursed, but also a little bit hilarious. It's been over a thousand years since we last met like this. Now I think about it though, my time away from everyone doesn't feel that long. Going by the numbers, we're all over a thousand years old now. Seems I'm the only—I'm not the only one ancient now, ancient one anymore. I suddenly feel depressed for some reason. Peace out. Wait, can I just like, can't you like zoom zoom out of here? Yeah. I played video games before, specifically this one. That reminds me, Philia, you should cut up to us easily. How'd you get past all the danger without a swordian? I managed just fine with this. A flask? 
I wanted to be of assistance, so I came up with some new weapons. Ah, look out! Philia bomb! Classic. Oh, she killed it in one hit? I may have been chosen by Clemente, but I think I'll continue to make use of these. Philia seems pretty strong even without you, old man. Well then, shall we get back on the vibe then? Hey, FMV. Hopefully we can get the Calvalis and Duastad stuff done today. That'd be neat. We made it to Calvalis. Hot. Uh, what is this place? Seriously? This place is awful. Feels so nice. Hey, Stan, you serious? Yeah, bright sunny days are the best. Oh, like I'm bumbly, bubbling over with excitement. This guy is really serious. We'll be fine, right? Master Leon, what's our next move? Let's go to Barak's office. He's in charge of the Abram branch here. We can learn more there. Who there? Where's Barak's office? Sorry to bother you. Can I ask you for directions? I'll peace out. Oh, dang. What do we do now? The people here are kind of cold. Head to the Barak Foundation office. It should be here in Sherrick somewhere. No rock rally, by the way, before anyone says, hey, play that rock game you didn't get to play. No, thank you. <laughs> Did not sound very fun. It's been a while, Bark. Leon, you've come. Did you ask the townspeople where this place was? No, I found my way on my own. The people in this town don't have any manners at all. Are you sure you should be saying that? Mary, look, there's something cute over there. Where? <laughs> the people of Cavaliers have a strange awareness towards outsiders. This prejudice has developed over many years throughout history. Don't let it bother you too much. What kind of history? The ancestors of the Cavaliersians lost the ancient war. Was it the Aether Wars? It was. I don't know how long ago this war was, but they shouldn't let it affect them forever. As a victor's logic, you have to think about it like the losers. Even now, the standard of living in Cavaliers is much lower than other countries. For many years, they were oppressed by other countries, leading to the current tension. The Eric Foundation is stationed here, so that the people here can have a greater standard of living. Mark, you're an incredible person to be able to think like that. I never knew such a place existed. Easier said than done, I still haven't achieved my goals. Anyway, we're getting off topic. I received word from Hugo. Whatever this eye of atomony is, it looks like you're searching for it. Yeah, that's right. Do you, need, do you know anything about it? I've tried asking around, but so far, I don't have any clues. We are thoroughly investigating every ship that's docked in Calvalis. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. Until then, you're welcome to stay in town. Got it, then we'll be in your care. Let's handle it, and in any case, that is quite a surprise. What is? Watching Leon get along with people his own age. It's because we're friends, we've gotten really close. Right, Leon? Don't say such disreputable things, Barak. These people and I are not friends. So you think! So you think! Don't say things like that. Haven't we all come come all this way together? The only reason I've tolerated you morons is because I was ordered to. I never needed your help. Leon. I'm disgusted that you would think we're friends. Or that you even get along. Got it? Don't say that again. I can't stand laid back, careless, overly friendly people like you. Where have I heard that before? The exact same line. Not only on Stan's side, I met in Leon's side. Mary comes back and brings the cats. Cats. Now we're talking. Comes back with the cats in her arm. Like, hey, hey, Rudy, can we keep it? That damn stand. I, I, I heard it. I heard it. That Stan always makes me so angry. Why exactly do you dislike Stan so much? Oh, this is uh something new, I guess. Why? Just look at him, Shaw. 
He's clearly just trying to buddy up to me as if he'll get him to the knights or off the hook for the Draconis incident. Oh! You, you literally, you literally, like, you're really thinking way, like, way too deep about this, huh? He's not thinking of me as anything but Hugo's son, something to exploit. Mmm! Okay. I never would have expected this. Like, we, we would, we never got anything like this on Stan's side. Getting to see Leon's insecurities is really cool. Okay. I'm not so sure that Stan's gold, though. In the end, that's how it always is. You'll see. And who are you supposed to be? Is what I sh is what I should say. I know people here won't talk to me, though. Hey, buddy, did I hear you right? Were you looking for something? Maybe I can give you some info about it. Information, huh? Young master, let's not. This person looks suspicious. Stranger danger! Stab him! Out with it, then. What do you know? Whoa there, hold up a sec. You didn't think I'd tell you for free, didn't you? I, I got no money. Like, look, dude. Hugo took my allowance. He cut it in half. And he also, in case that's not bad enough, he told all the monsters in the world, don't have any money on you because then my son will loot it. So I I'm broke. I got nothing. I got to save it for re-rising in weapons and equipment. Of course not. I'll pay whatever the price. Young master? Yeah, we're broke! What money are we gonna pay? You sure about that? I could be lying, you know. I'm not concerned. You're not good, e gonna even pretend to be a good person after all. Besides, I get the feeling I could trust what you say more than what I've actually heard. Gotcha. Don't worry, my info is rock solid. Guaranteed. Yeah, nothing could possibly go wrong. Who was that just now? An information broker. In exchange for some gall, he told us what he knew. What did you find out from him? A short while before we arrived here, some important looking temple staff showed up. Seems they unloaded some very large cargo then headed towards the country's capital. No matter how you think about it, that's gotta be great but in, in the eye of Atimony. Bark told us that he didn't know anything, anything though. It's likely he doesn't know the full situation or he's secretly evil. The people here are not trusting of outsiders after all. He's such a good guy though. Stan, my dude. Even not having played your own side, this, um, this line of yours is naive. <laughs> You're not going to survive on your own, ever. Oh Mary, goodness. where's the cats? I was told you were going to bring a cats. Ah, that's right, I just remembered. There's a branch of Stralai's temple in, Calviol in, Calviola, in Calviola, the capital of Calvalis. Seems there's a good chance that they moved the Eye of Atomoli there. Where exactly is Calviola? He told us that too. You leave Sherrick and head north. Alright, let's head out, Leon. Let's hurry to Caviola. Grabo might be there. I'm not thrilled about walking there under the scorching sun. There's no point in complaining. Please be patient. Caviola, the capital of Cavalis, is to the north of Sherrick. Well, that was a skit. Jeez, I'm parched. It's because you talk too much. Perhaps you would like this something to drink. <laughs> really is gonna offer them like a poison drink or something? Oh my goodness. Philia is gonna kill them. She's deadly. Oh, we have Philia now. I'm gonna add her in the party. Yo, I only got a thousand gold. That is insane and really annoying. Insanely annoying. I want to see if I can sell some stuff. But, uh, no, that's really interesting, though. About, uh, so Leon, we never got that in Stan's side. So Leon is actually just really insecure, and he thinks that Stan is using him. That's interesting. I would have never thought that. And they didn't give us any hints about that on Stan's side. That's really cool. Nice to see that side of him.
I'm so broke. I love this game, chat. I do. But playing through it again... Like, again, my my weakest thing about it was the story. Playing through this Leon side... Like, well, I'm, I'm excited to see where it does with Leon... But it's reminded me how much of a how much of a slog the story was. Like again, the characters did lift the game for me a little bit, but it's remind it's reminded me of how the story is, especially playing it back to back. What I love about this game is literally like I love the combat. The characters are neat. Again, they're not like the best Tales of cast ever, but they're likable. I like them. They're good characters. And the combat is amazing, so. The story is like one of the weakest things about it. Today I tried making onigiri. Well, it sound looks good. I'll try one. Don't do it! Well, it has a taste. I soaked it in a special chemical. Hope it's okay. Rudy's dead. You didn't like it? I hope it's okay. Sheesh! You didn't try it yourself, did you? Sorry. There are more important things to worry about right now. Who are you, Yukiko? Or Chie? Was that like Mystery Food X, but in the form of a, a drink? I recently did the camping trip of Persona 4, which is why I, I thought to bring up Mystery Food X. Yo, hope you all play Persona 4. Great game. Who's worse at cooking Philly or Yukiko? I love Yukiko, she's best girl, but she's not a very good cook. I hate to say it. It's one of her it's one of her very little weaknesses. Be gone! And that camping trip in P4 is golden. I no pun intended, golden. I love it. It was so it's so good. Never gets old. Rest where? Okay. It's worse. Why is it worse? Okay, whatever. Whatever game. Developing a friendship. Hey, hey, Leon. Stan, even you had to realize it by now. Leon's just not going to give you the time of the day. I don't give up and keep trying. I'm sure he'll warm up to me. Jonathan was the same way. Oh, yes. The true lad. Is Jonathan a friend of yours, Stan? Yeah, I wonder what he's up to. Probably running around naked after being sheared. He's talking about a sheep? No, he, he's not just a sheep. He's the sheep. The sheep lad. Jonathan will get his own game one day. I watched that skit, I didn't know who Jonathan was. I didn't know Jonathan was a sheep, so I didn't really have much comments on that skit. Because I just, I assumed Jonathan... Well, actually, no, I knew Jonathan was a sheep, but I didn't know about the cutscene where Stan ran around... ...chasing the sheep. Forget Leon, forget Johnny and Philia. Jonathan is my favorite character in Tales of Destiny. Great sheep. Doing the herding really brought me joy every time I was in Liania. A scam running around cheering goes through my mind. Exactly, Wolfen. You get it. You get it. Get Demon's Lance. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Dude, it'd be one thing if I was getting like little money. Straight up, I'm not getting any money. Like, what is one supposed to do? 
I'm getting no money at all from Leon's side. Did I secretly do an option that meant no money? I don't think I did. I transferred arts. Also, the XP I'm getting is trash. Do not know what it is. Is this Caviola? We finally made it, but boy is it H-O-T- ah. You, 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 you see Jean? Where? Oh, you people travelers, where'd you come from? Alright, that was a lame joke, I apologize. Please don't unsubscribe or unfollow. From Sherrick. I see, I see, that must have been a hard trip to make in this heat. She changed her tune pretty suddenly. We'd like to go to Straylight's Temple, you know where it is. Don't bother with that place, there's no point even going there now. We have our god, there's no use for the outsiders' outimony. Temple should be north of the town, but you shouldn't get too involved with it. I'll do what I want. Thank you, ma'am. It was something I heard before from Bishop Eilis. The people of Calvalis have a firmly rooted fate in their own god. Doing missionary work here is quite difficult. They won't even deal with an outsider's god. In that case, we're playing, by the way, about this whole god thing. We're playing normal the whole way, then. Especially if money is an issue. There's no way to, like, check NG plus options. I, I doubt it. Tales of the Games never do that, but I'll, I'm will i pretty sure I did arts. There was not one that, like, took out gold. I'm, I'm sure Leon's side is just this annoying with gold. That's just, like, it's just weird, dude. I don't know why they would do that. 